What's up YouTube? Ryan back today with another sports card mail day. Let's go. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Holiday season's over. I have been working 80 hour weeks. I'm so happy it's done. YouTube content coming at you now once again. It was kind of nice to take a month off for YouTube. You know, the grind's been real, but I am super excited for 2023. Today is the second. I am super pumped about what this year has to offer. Me and my brother are going to start producing a ton of content. So, cannot wait. But today we got a mail day. Today we got a small little mail day. It's going to be a bunch of little singles. Um, a lot of these were given to me by Jason. Um, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages today. Should go pretty quick. Um, but I did want to put out a video. I also have a PSA order coming back any day now. It's been stuck in Q2 for like two weeks. So hopefully, maybe even by the end of this week, maybe we'll, we'll hear something. But super excited to jump into this video. Let's do it. All right. We're just going to go one at a time. It'll be pretty quick here. Um, again, a lot of these are given to me by Jason. Just with the busy work week, month, I should say work week, work month, um, I just haven't done too much sports cards. Um, I did just recently start looking into some singles, and I do see some good opportunity. But like I said, a lot of this is going to be from Jason. Um, he reached out to me and said he sent some stuff. And I was expecting this. <laughs> I was expecting this. Yes. Awesome. All right. Sorry, I, I thought there was a note in it. It was from the seller, not from Jason. Um, but we got some Justin Jefferson stickers. Heck yeah. Super hyped about this. These are so cool. Got the gritty and looks like another celebration. Awesome. Thank you. Dude, I love those. Those are so cool. I don't know if that's like a specific company that makes those. Like the J-Rod one is so cool. I have it on my, my fridge. And then um, these ones are freaking awesome. Big Vikings fan, as Jason knows, and that's why he sent them to me. They got demolished yesterday. The Vikings are like the biggest wild card ever. Oh, we got another one. Ooh, Nolan Ryan. All right. Heck yeah. That's who I was named after and who I named my son after. My name's Ryan and my son's name's Nolan. Aha, there we go. Very cool. Heck yeah. I love the magnets because they're a little heavier. Um, very cool. Jason has very much extended my sports collection. I have a ton of sports cards, but he has really provided me you know, some new things. This one feels like a card. This one feels like a card. Actually getting into some sports card stuff here. Solid packaging. And I'll say time and time again on my, even this entire year, like that's like the one thing that's gotten really good in the hobby with it getting popular again is packaging. If you go back and watch one of my mail days, like when I first started making them like 2019, even early 2020, what a disaster some of these mail days are. It looks like we got a Spencer Torkelson. I bought this one. I bought this one. Yes, let's check this boy out. Heck yeah. Okay, so I'm still adding to my Spencer Torkelson PC. His stuff is super affordable. He had a terrible season. And, you know, first overall draft pick, if he comes back, has a good year this year, stuff's going to boom. So this is the Optic and yes okay sorry the angle i had it i couldn't see like the refractor on it i forget what it's called oh it has a specific name can't remember it but it is out of 99 number six out of 99 let's see the quality on it not bad i mean there's a couple faint print lines but nothing thick at least again the centering's weird on donners and optic this year so i was going to look at the back you can't the back doesn't even help you either like it's super off left to right but that's like the design of the card. So Panini gets a fat L for the design this year. Um, but other than that, card looks pretty pretty nice. Maybe I'll send it in, see what happens, just because I'm curious on like the centering and how they're gonna grade those. But sweet, happy with that. Anything numbered Torkelson, I'm I'm happy with right now. I just it's worth the gamble in my mind. I watched him in college. He was absolutely phenomenal. He was really good his first year in the minors. And he just struggled last year. He didn't get a ton of consistent at-bats. 
Um, so I'm hoping this year he can start off hot and get to that top of the order and just really get a lot of consistent at-bats because if anyone's played baseball in their life, they know you need consistent A-Bs to, you know, get better. And playing every other day is really difficult to do so. He did get a de decent chance at the beginning of the year, uh, but he's, he's batting like 7th or 8th in the lineup. He's getting like 3 at-bats a game. I'm not trying to make excuses for the guy, but I do think the talent is still there and it's worth the gamble at these cheap prices. I still haven't bought a Bowman Chrome Auto of his yet, just because they still are pricey, but for low end stuff, yeah, I'm still buying. I am buying low end. Oh my goodness, the packaging. All right. Looks like we got a Jalen Hurts card. Nice. I like Jalen Hurts a lot. I just, I'm not like a super fan of Jalen Hurts, but I respect the crap out of the guy. Oh my gosh. Why would they do that? Packing tape on the back of the top loader. Just absolutely ridiculous. Um, but Jalen Hurts, we got the rookies here. I like the rookies insert. We're definitely one of my favorite inserts from Donruss. Uh, but I love Jalen Hurts, you know? Got replaced by Tua, Alabama, transfers to Oklahoma. Did he win the Heisman? He did, didn't he? I can't remember. And then what he's done in Philly so far in his short career has just been really awesome. So, heck yeah. All right, next package up. And again, I'm just, I've am just i been starting to buy cards again, so we're going to start getting more consistent mail days. going to start putting out more minor league content as the offseason keeps going. Ooh, this is a fun one. This is a fun one. Jake McCarthy. Jason, this is how I know you watch my videos because I pulled the blue in my in my optic box and now we have the orange. I believe this is what? Okay, let's see if, how good I am. 299? Ah, 125, I'm not even close. Not even close, but they got the orange prism. Jake McCarthy. I'm excited about Jake McCarthy. Again, I don't think he's like a must buy, but he took a step forward last year and this card looks phenomenal. I will definitely be grading this. Again, the centering is an absolute question mark, but man, is this a pretty card. Uh, one print line on the back, but the front is perfection. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, like super, super cheap. I don't mind buying. Jake McCarthy is like an investment because he took a step forward, like a big step forward last year. He looked so good, especially the second half of the year, like really good. Um, but he is a little older. So I believe he's 25 turning 26 this year. So timetable isn't as great. Looks like we got CD Lamb. Nice. It's funny, my brother drafted CD Lamb this year. And I think... Uh, on his fantasy team, and I think it turned him into like a CD Lamb super fan. So this is cool in that aspect. But it's a rookie wave. I don't know why they say wave. This is out of Panini Playoff. That's a product that absolutely is forgotten about. And I feel like for good reason. I didn't even know they made Chrome cards. I did not even know that. Is this a Chrome card? Let's pull it out and find out. It might not be a chrome card. It looks like a chrome card based on the the shine. But let's check her out. Yeah, it's a it's a thick card. It's a thick boy. Cool. I didn't know they even made chrome cards. I don't have an open playoff in years. So I could just be lost, but this is nice. Rookie wave blue. It's a little team match. C.D. Lamb is another guy that is super good, and he's kind of just breaking out this year. Like, obviously, I'm a big Justin Jefferson fan, but, like, a lot of people out of the draft thought C.D. Lamb was the best receiver out of the draft. Um, my biasness as a Vikings fan, obviously, I was rooting for uh, Jefferson, but I do think C.D. Lamb's special. I think they still haven't even reached his, his ceiling with C.D. Lamb yet because he's truly a slot receiver. Like, if he ever gets in a system where he can actually just focus on being the slot... And they've done better at putting him in the slot this year. Um, but he is so good out of the slot. Ooh, this is sweet. Jake McCarthy. This has got to be an SP. Heck yeah. Awesome. Like I said, 
took a big step this year. Um, and again, Jason, you sent me all these cards, bro. So thank you. I really do appreciate it. Uh, awesome. Heck yeah. Definitely a big Jake McCarthy fan. I don't think they're going to trade him, which is nice. Um, I think he's one of those guys they could trade at the deadline if he does have a good year. Um, so we'll see on that. And honestly, that's sometimes good for cards, especially in Arizona. Um, they just don't have a great market here. So sometimes, you know, a player has a good season, gets shipped off, and cards go boom. I am trying to buy Gabriel Moreno. If anyone's watching this YouTube channel or video specifically and has Gabriel Moreno, Bowman Chrome, first auto, I am looking for it. So preferably I want it in a PSA 10. Um, but I am open to any type of Gabriel Moreno Bowman first. I'm so hyped about that trade still. Like, I think it was such an awesome win for the Diamondbacks. Like, Gabriel Moreno is the perfect fit for what the D-backs needed. The perfect fit. He is young, very high-ceiling player, and that's what the D-backs farm system is right now. It's a bunch of young players. Are... Ooh, match with the Jay Jettas. Awesome. Yuck, yeah. Rookie wave at a playoff. I'm not going to take this one out, but awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Heck yeah. All right. Quick mail day today. I knew it was going to be a short video. We'll be having better mail days coming through, but definitely on the lighter side, but I did want to put out a video. You know, work just ended literally the busy month. So I finally had time to record a video. I was like, I don't, I don't even know what I have right now, but let's just throw together a video. Let's do it. But yeah, I'm happy. Thank you, Jason. I know you gave me pretty much all these cards <laughs> very thankful and the in the stickers and magnets um i did purchase the spencer torkelson though um still high on torque for now so we will see how he does this year but yeah that's a simple mail day super happy i am going to be dipping into more sports as well been really focusing on watching every sport right now um, through the holidays and through the new year so you're probably gonna see a bit more variety of cards coming through which I'm stoked for. So, heck yeah. All right, that's going to do it for today's video, everyone. If you like this video, please get a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think of my mail day. Get ready for content. It's coming. All right, everyone. See ya.